everyone, it's Dorothy. I'm back and on this occasion, this is video number two and I have my granddaughter, Anthe, and uh, we're going to answer some of the questions we had last week. So I um, hope you're there and you're reading them or listening to them or watching them. And the first question was from... Melo Marash. And they said, this may be an odd question, but would split ends be unhealthy or bad in any way for my hair? Right, as an ex-hairdresser, retired, I am quite sort of um, qualified to say that split ends are extremely bad for your hair. They, it doesn't help the hair, it doesn't help you, it doesn't look very nice, and it dissolves as it breaks away. So if you cut it regularly, I recommend every 6 to 12 weeks, a split ends the very ends at the bottom should be removed to allow the hair to grow and grow healthy. So you're only removing really a slight amount of what's bad for you and your hair will look healthy and grow and look fantastic. So what we did for my hair, cut it off. We must. <laughs> the next question, um, the username will be here. They said, your advice is really helpful. What do you think of overcoming your fears and how could you do so? Please mention it in your next video. I can't mention it in this particular video, but I will make an extension, an extended version rather, of a video about fears because I have two very, very bad fears and I would like to, that, to extend that into a very long kind of program of say 15 to 20 minutes to explain what the fears I have and see how, what fears you lot have and then maybe we can resolve them together. Or we'll just talk about it, it's a, good, a feel good factor. Um, the next question is from Rudolph and they said, great video, what do you think of young girls being affected by social media? I personally think it's a, a huge, huge impact on young people, the media that's, you know, about food, about clothes, about um, programs, how they're programmed to follow what the, the people that want to sell. Um, there's so much out there in the media that does affect people. It affected me as a, a young child. I mean, I was into ordinary life until Twiggy came along and then I starved myself until I ended up in hospital. So because I wanted to look like Twiggy. So I'm sure most of the girls or boys are, yeah, they're impacted by the media very much. And I'm sure Anthony would be able to give her version. Yeah, um, definitely. I think that, you know, when you get on your phone or something or it's all like everywhere, there's just advertisements and there's blah, blah, blah that, you know, everybody wants to look a certain way and it's generally, as we all know, it's skinny. Um, that's just one of the things, you know, they say there's certain stuff in your face, you know, you have to buy this makeup product because, you know, you're going to look better. But it's like we can't just be happy within ourselves. We always have to look like something. Uh, I think that it does affect, you know, 99.9% .9 of young girls and it's pretty sad actually. I think I agree with that. Yes, very much so. The next question is from... Um, name. Hello, a question I thought of is what would you say you know about living a happy life that you didn't know when you were 20? Take your time and grow. Grow with your years. Whatever, ha you know, whatever happens, happens. It's, unless you go out of your way to do otherwise, things will take their course. Moments will take their impact. But whatever you do, you know, just be patient and get there and get there safely. I know that I'm happy now, but I was happy when I was 20 and 21. I was just impatient. I wanted things yesterday, not tomorrow or today. I wanted them done yesterday. That's how much I wanted to be happy. But I am happy, which is wonderful. The last question is from Margie Pet, and they said, did you have any pets growing up? And if I was to get a pet, should I get a cat or a dog? Which do you recommend? I had loads of pets as a child, loads of pets. You name it, I think we had it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a cat, a dog, a bird, anything, any, 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 anything you have in your home to look after is wonderful. It's a feel good factor and you feel that you're doing something. You've got companionship. As long as you have the time to, you know. Yes, take doggies for a walk, cats to be cleaned and fed, 
You can't go away and leave them. You have to, um, yeah, you have to prepare. It's another person. It's not just an animal. They depend on you. They can't tell you what they want. Yeah, but it's good to have a pet. I agree. So that's all the questions we have for today. Hope you enjoyed the show. Bye. Bye.